This is the story behind Helen's Bridge. In the early 1900s Helen lived near Zealandia Mansion with her daughter. One night, Helen was working in the kitchen when a fire broke out. She rushed to find her daughter, but the fire had already engulfed her. Her daughter, whose name is not mentioned, died in the fire leaving Helen grief-stricken. Helen, being overcome by grief, hung herself from this very bridge. Now it is said that her spirit roams around the bridge, calling out for her daughter. Watch and listen closely, as Danny speaks to the grief-stricken Helen. What is up? Hey, this is your man Danny, right here again. Welcome to the nation. The place I'm at right now is on the registry of one of the most holy places in North Carolina. I am going to take you with me as we see who we can talk to, who wants to talk back, and hey, maybe we might even get a story with you. Who knows? Let's go. Where I'm at right now is at Helen's Bridge. This is in Asheville, North Carolina. I've already spoken to Helen. She's responding now to the REM pod. Now we're going to go talk to her and see what kind of information we can get from her. Now the legend goes, the story goes, that Helen had a daughter. The daughter died in a house fire. And in stricken grief, she came upon this bridge, which is a stagecoach bridge from the early 1900s, and she hung herself. So it's said that her spirit still roams through here in grief over her lost daughter. We're going to see now if Helen is willing to speak. Helen, are you here? Is it okay with you that I'm here? You know I mean you no harm. I mean you no disrespect. I just want to have a conversation with you. Is that okay? She seems to like that REM pod. You like that REM pod, Helen? So yeah, it makes a funny sound. And it's really easy for you to activate it. All you got to do is get close to it. So with it going off and me sitting here, that tells me you're close to me right now. Helen, I want to ask you a question. Did you indeed hang yourself from this bridge? Can you tell me which side of the bridge it was? Okay, this is how we're going to do it. If you hung yourself on the side that I'm on, make the rod go to the left. If you hung yourself on the other side, make the rod go to the right. Okay. Should I move over there? Bring it back to the center, please. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. I just want to tell you, Helen, that I'm really, really sorry about the loss of your daughter. I have two sons, and I don't know what I would do if anything were to happen to them. I may end up in the same place you are. Was this daughter the only child you had? Wow. 
The story goes as you walk up and down this bridge still. Is that also true? That's good. Thank you for letting me know that. Is there anything in particular that I need to know? Well, I got with me what's called a spirit box. You can use that to speak through. Would you be willing to speak through that and tell me what it is I need to know? Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Helen. All right, I'm going to turn the spirit box on now. So now you can speak, and I will definitely be able to understand what you say. Helen, can you tell me your daughter's name? Was your daughter's name Ann? That's amazing, guys, because that's what came through on the necrophonic. It said Ann, and then when I got ready to cut it off, it started saying it again. Was that you calling out for your daughter? Oh, sweetheart, I am so, so sorry. This breaks my heart. It really does. I feel your pain. And I know that you're right here with me right now because I can feel you all over me. Were you also in the house when it caught fire? Was your husband in there? Just your daughter? Oh, Helen. My heart breaks for you, sweetheart. It really does. Did your husband try to console you before this? But there was no consoling you, was there? My heart breaks. It really, really breaks. Okay. Is there anything I can do for you, Helen? Would you like to speak more in the spirit box? Okay, guys, I am going to put the spirit box over there with the camera on it. And I'm going to walk away a little bit. And I'm going to allow Helen to say whatever Helen wants to say. Be right back. Yeah. 
Helen, did you say what you needed to say? Thank you. Please speak to my spirit now, Helen. I would like to hear from you. Can you do that for me? She said, I am so sad. Where's my daughter? Where's Anne? Anne, where are you? Come to mama. I'm here, baby. Please come to mama. Anne, where are you? Where are you, baby? Mommy wants you so bad. I miss you so much. Please come to me. And I, Helen, I'm so sorry about your daughter. She asked me, can I help her find her daughter? I can try. I'm going to try, okay? I want to speak to the spirit of Anne, Helen's daughter, the one Anne that burned up in the fire. You died in the fire, Anne. Are you here? Anne, are you here? Helen, she must have already crossed over. I'll ask Grandma, okay? Grandma? I'm here with Helen. You know who I'm talking about? Did her daughter Anne already cross over? Is there any way that I can speak to her? It's going to happen, Helen. It's going to happen. Please bring her to me. Her mama wants to talk to her. Ah. And when you get here, make this rod go to the right.
Show me where you're at, Aaron. Standing over by the side of the bridge. Helen. Anne is here. Guys, I can't even describe to you the peace that I feel right now. I can't even begin. Chills all over and it's not cold outside. It's a plump 80 degrees. Would you like for me to facilitate the conversation? Helen, you want to go first? Okay, Anne, your mommy wants to talk to you, okay? Okay, go ahead, Helen. Baby, I am so sorry. You know I would have never let this happen. You know mommy loves you, right? You forgive me for not saving you? Okay. And you want to speak to your mom now? Okay, you can go ahead. Okay, Anne, are you ready? Okay, good, 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 good. Go ahead and say what you want to say to me and I'll tell your mom, okay? Mommy, it hurts. It hurts so bad, Mommy. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at Daddy. I know it was an accident. Love you, Mommy. I love you too, baby. And if I could change anything, I would. I would have you with me right now, all the time. Mommy, I'm in a good place. But I'm hurting, Mama. My skin. Mama, help me. Help me, Mama. I'm going to have to take a break for a minute, guys. This is getting really heavy. This is a story from one of the locals. He's going to tell about his experience here. Go ahead, bro. So, this is about 10 years ago. Me and my girl parked down there that I was with at the time. And it was about 12 o'clock at night. So we come up here, no activity, nothing went on. You know, this is Helen's Bridge. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we, we walk all the way around. As we was cut, walking down that road over there, a car parked right there, and it was two females and a male. So we all like, hey, what's up? You know, blah, blah, blah. And we start walking this way. And one of the females started telling me the story about Helen's Bridge. I didn't know it at the time. Right. But we got like right down here, and she started telling me how if you down said, in the underpass, yes, under uh, underneath it, how if you say Helen, I have your, I'm not going no further than that. You'll right. understand why. Then, well, I could say it one time, Helen, I have your baby. Stuff is supposed to happen, and I, I didn't believe it. You know, I was, I didn't believe in that at the time. But anyways, uh, so as we got directly underneath it, a car came screaming by it's late you know it's 12 o'clock at night almost one 
And, uh, the two, me and the dude got on that side, and the girls got on this side, and as the car came by, oh, I said, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, it's a long time ago this happened. That's okay, man. It's the first time I've been back, so okay. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> um, so when she told me the whole, what you say, I said it. I said, I was like, I don't care. I said it. Helen, I have your, and I left it at that. I laughed it off. Car came by. As it passed us, we heard something. The ladies thought, because they were on this side and I was on, and we were on that side. The yeah. ladies thought it came from the car, but me and the dude was looking at one another wide eyed. We heard over my shoulder in between us, you have my baby. Oh shit. Well, it gets better. <laughs> <laughs> So, scares him. He goes running off. He realizes about halfway down he's alone. He comes running back. Like, let's go. I want to go. I want to go. He tells his buddies, let's go. So, they get in the car and they go, and we start coming back. Man, I felt I felt it on my back the whole time walking back up there. Me and my girl, we took off running. Damn. We got in the car. So, that's over and said and done with. And uh, I get home. I, I, I was like a – bottom was, was a uh, – the basement – then you had like the living room and the kitchen, and then on top of that you had two bedrooms, which mine was on that. Right. And then my bedroom, it was basically a drop like this. There was nothing out there, no trees, no nothing. So right. my first dream, I'm running. See this thing, this female, coming after me. Give me back my baby. Give me back my baby. Oh shit. She reaches out, grabs my right leg. I wake up screaming in pain. My right leg just Fire, just fire. I never had anything wrong with my right leg. Damn. On fire. All right. I freaked out. I calmed down. Not a big deal. I went back to sleep. My second dream that night. Now, this was the night, the next night, not the night I went home, but the next night. Right. Just so we're clear. So I, I was dreaming and I heard this tapping on my window. And in my dream, I looked over and in the very bottom corner, you see that woman that was chasing after me in, the, uh, in my other dream. Tapping on the window, give back my baby, give me back my baby. I'm oh, it's messing shit, me up bad. Man. I couldn't sleep that whole night, dude. The rest of the night, done for. So, oh, and when I woke up, there was nothing at the window, nothing. You know, there's no, it's yeah. a drop. There's no yeah. trees, no nothing. No way for her to get there. No, no nothing. living person. No, to get there, there anyway. no living person. No trees, wind blowing, all that mess. Nothing. That next night, I come back here. It's it's pouring the rain. I say, Helen. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have your baby. Please, please leave me alone. I'm so sorry. I'm talking. I'm scared. I have tears in my eyes. Yeah. I ain't playing around. Yeah. That shit scared me. I ain't had nothing else since. Nothing Dude. else since. That was the last time I was here until today. Wow. I'll drive by, but I'll never get out. I've driven under. I never got out. I got out one time over here. I was parked over here. But it sounded like there was a bear in the woods over there, so I didn't dare walk up here because right, right. I was already on edge anyways. It was at nighttime when that happened, too. So, yeah. Okay, I'm now underneath the bridge. Not directly. The bridge is right over there to my right. This is the side of the bridge that Helen told me earlier that she hanged herself from. <sighs> Looks there's any activity down here. Helen, are you down here? Helen, are there any spirits here? Are there any spirits here at all? I guess that's a no. So, it's like we're headed back up top. So, you know what that means. That means that you and me I'm going over there. Helen, are you here? Is Ann still here? I'm so glad that I was able to unite you guys, reunite you guys. Is she going to stay with you? A few moments ago, um, I had a gentleman speak 
off camera. He was mic'd up, so everybody heard his voice. But he told me, Helen, that he did that thing under the bridge where it says, Helen, I have your baby, and that you haunted him. Is that really you? So, Jonathan, you're watching this video, brother. You're 100% right. It was Helen. And she was looking for her baby. Is that right, Helen? You're willing to do anything to get your baby back. Confirmation on the rim pod. Thank you for doing that, Helen. Now, while I'm here, is there anything at all that I could do for you or Anne? Do you want to cross over? No? Do you want to speak again with me facilitating the conversation? Okay, we can do that. We can do that. This time I'm going to let Ann speak first, okay? Ann, are you here? Okay, darling. I'm giving you the chance now to speak. You can talk to me, tell me what you want to say, and I'll tell your mom, okay? Though they can really speak to each other in the afterlife. I don't understand. But I'm not questioning it, you know? I just go with the flow. Okay, and you can speak to me now. Mama, where were you? I was all alone. I got burned, Mama. I got burned real bad. I love you, Mama. Okay, Helen. I love you too, baby. Everything's going to be okay now. Because now I have you with me. Can we be together forever? Okay, Helen, is there anything else you need from me, sweetheart? And do you have anything you want from me? Okay, then. The feeling here now is a lot different than it was when I first came up here. I don't feel the, the um, anxiety and the sadness that I felt when I first came up here. Knowing that I was able to help them means the world to me. Helen, can you tell me what your last name is? Belcher?
Can you tell me whose house it was that caught on fire that killed your daughter? Was it your house? Was it the home of Sir Philip? Anne was the only one who died? She often played with Philip's daughters. Anne, do you remember that? Anne, sweetheart, can you tell me how old you are? Did you say eight? Eight-year-old Ann Belcher burning that fire. Thank you, Helen. Thank you, Ann. Now that I have reunited you two, is there anything more I can do for you? Thank you for taking your time to speak to me. Enjoy your time with your daughter, Helen. And enjoy your time with your mama. I'm going to go now, okay? Well, guys, that's it. That's the story I get from Helen's Bridge. Uh, it's like I said in the video, the feeling here now since Helen's daughter came to speak to her and they were together, the feeling is way different. And I still feel them with me right now. They are like all over me right now. They're around me. I hope the camera picks them up. I hope you can see them because I feel them right here with me. Quite an eventful investigation. Um, when I was up from the bridge the first time, I had some dude yelling up, he was going to call the cops, blah, 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 blah. Call them. There's not a no trespassing sign. There's not a no parking sign. So, you know. Well, I say it every time, man. And I mean it every time that I say it. This dude right here, I love every one of you guys. I really do. Right down, right from the bottom of my heart, man. That little pointed piece at the bottom. You know what I'm talking about. So, until next time, guys. This here is Danny Kelly. And I will see uh, you on the flip side.